asking us to do in this case is to simplify, right? That means to add these two together. Now, if you had any other equation, if I had 5 fourths plus 5 thirds, to add those two fractions, I have to make sure I have common what? Denominators, right? So, ladies and gentlemen, to add these, I have to make sure that they have common denominators. All right. So therefore, I need to determine what is the least common denominator of these two expressions. And you can see that the least common denominator of these two expressions is going to be 2 plus, actually I'm going to write it over here. My LCD is going to be 2 plus i times 2 minus i. Yes? Everybody agree with me on that? Yeah. Okay. So therefore, remember you multiply the LCD by both terms, but you need to make sure you multiply it. Um, you need to make sure you multiply on the top and on the bottom. So therefore, to get 2 plus i to get it to my LCD, I need to multiply by 2 minus i. I need to multiply on the top and the bottom. Over here, to get my LCD, I need to make sure I multiply by 2 plus i. And again, to keep equivalent fractions, you need to make sure you multiply on the top and the bottom. All right? So now, we can multiply as you cross. Now up top, we want to apply this distributive property. Right? So therefore, by doing that, I get 4i minus 2i squared. Now I'll go back to the i squared in a second. All right? And then up top here, when I apply distributive property, I get plus 10 plus 5i. In the denominator, I multiply these out, and I can actually multiply my LCD, um, combine them out, and we see that this is really a difference of two squares, right? It's really the LCD is a binomial times its conjugate, which is going to be 4 minus i squared. Now remember what we talked about last class, for those of you that need to remember i, remember i was represented by the square root of negative 1, our imaginary unit. I squared then equals negative 1. So really this is 4 minus negative 1, which equals 5. So if I have this equal to 5 on the denominator, I will now replace my I squared again with another negative 1. Therefore, I can do negative 2 times negative 1, which is a positive 2. Positive 2 plus 10 is 12. So those two combine to give me 12. Then I have 4i plus 9i is, or 4i plus 5i is 9i. So writing it in a plus bi format, right? Because remember, all complex numbers need to be written in our a plus bi format. So therefore, I'll have 12 plus 9i divided by 5. And again, to continue this in our a plus bi format, we divide 12 divided by 5 plus 9 divided by 5. That's your final answer.